I wanna start off this video by wishing all of you a very happy new year. The holidays just finished and obviously we've all eaten a little bit more than we should, myself included. So it's time to start fresh, start January strong and make sure you eat healthy throughout the year. Set your goals and stick to them. And one way to make sure you do that is you have a pantry that is full of all the good stuff to keep you on track. So today for Air One's cart, we're gonna be filling up this baby with all the good stuff that you can eat and not feel guilty about. Let's go. Today is all about giving you a selection of all my favorite things that are new at Landers. This here is PB Fit. I've actually been eating this for a while and what's great about it is that it's actually powdered peanut butter. Peanut butter, as you know, is a great snack to have high in protein, high in good fats and everything, but sometimes the peanut butter you might find commercially might be too high in fat. So PB Fit is great because you get that protein, but it's also gluten-free and you have about 87% less fat than other items or other commercial brands that I will not mention. So very similar to last year, but still one of my top ingredients to have in your pantry is quinoa, but I found a variant this year in Landers that's quite new, which is great. It's a mix of quinoa and wild rice and jasmine rice. And why do I like this? Is because people will say, all right, but aren't you trying to stay away from carbohydrates? Well, not really. Quinoa has a lot of protein, but the carbs are quite low. So if you use it as a rice, you might not be getting enough carbohydrates to fuel your workouts or your new energy needs. So by adding a little bit of rice in there, it actually brings up the carbohydrate profile, which makes it a perfect kind of post-workout, pre-workout meal. We're gonna add some chia seeds. These are my favorite from Badia simply because you get a bang for your buck. It's an absolutely massive pack. And this, all you need is one teaspoon per serving if you're making something with coconut milk. And it just gives you great texture, great crunch, and at the same time, it's just full of great protein and fats. Breakfast cereals in general aren't necessarily recommended because they do tend to have a lot of added sugar to them, but there are two brands that I really like. The first one is this Palio Granola. It's very dense, like it's a lot of nuts, a lot of fiber, it makes you full really quickly, so you don't actually use this as a granola that you would add a lot of milk to. It's literally just a topper because it adds so much nutrients to the whole dish. And it's great because it uses no grains whatsoever. So that's why it's really high in fat and great protein. The other one, which is right below it, is the Alpen um, Muesli. So Muesli is the worst offender when it comes to sugar because there's usually a lot of sugar and then it's a lot of dried fruits. And that increases the amount of sugar overall in the dish. So if you have this that has no added sugar, at least you can be a bit more conscious of that sugar intake. So this is a great addition to any morning. Now that we have muesli and cereals, you need something to wet it with. A lot of people actually don't know that they might be slightly intolerant to dairy. If you feel like you're one of those persons that when you drink dairy or milk, you do feel queasy, a little uncomfortable, then it might irritate your bowels, I know it's not a very sexy word, in ways that you probably don't want it to. So go for milk alternatives. The problem with milk alternatives, a lot of them actually have a lot of added sugar to them. Like soy milk in general has a ton of added sugar to it unless it specifies unsweetened, which is why Kirkland's probably one of my favorite brands for that. This is an unsweetened almond milk with a slight vanilla scent or flavor, and it's absolutely delicious. Protein shakes for cereals, anything you want, this will make it happen. There's another one called Rude Health, and this one's a brown rice drink. Honestly, when it comes to milk alternatives, it comes down to your preferences. Something like a brown rice drink or an almond will be slightly more watery, but will give you different flavors. This will be a bit more toasty. This is a bit more kind of like almondy, vanilla -y. Whereas something like uh, soy milk might be slightly more thicker and more gelatiny. So really up to you. If you're like me, starting your day without coffee can be a very, very bad omen to your whole day or your whole week. Coffee is really important, but a lot of people actually do it wrong. Um, the number one question I get when people are dieting is, hey Erwin, can I drink coffee in the morning? Yes, you can. Um, any type of coffee would do. You have organic coffee here from Papua New Guinea. You have some instant coffee, depending on what equipment you have at home. I have a grinder, so I will go for the organic whole ground. But that's not really important. What's important is you make sure you don't put any milk or sugar in it. A lot of people see coffee as something that you need sugar with, but you actually don't. I drink my coffee black, it's really bitter. Is there an alternative to it? Unfortunately, no. Just learn to drink black bitter coffee and learn to enjoy it. One of the downfalls that a lot of people have comes to liquid. If you're someone that can't just drink water and need something else, that's why you usually will 
go towards like sodas and stuff. And yes, there's a lot of diet sodas and zero sugar sodas, but a lot of time they're actually sweetened with artificial sweeteners, which people don't know if that's good or bad yet. There hasn't been enough studies done yet to kind of be conclusive about that. So in comes Bai. I've tried these a couple of times and they're so delicious. It's basically just water, filtered water, with a blend of natural sweeteners, including stevia, and I think one called erythritol. So basically these are both plant-based sweeteners, so they're really good for you because they're natural, and they're added to filtered water um, and a little bit of flavoring in there. So these infused waters, our dream come true. Talking about natural sweeteners, one of my favorite organic stevia here from Wholesome. This is in a powdered form, so you can add it to absolutely anything you want some sweetness to, and actually tastes really great and really natural. Next is maca powder. A lot of people see this on shelves, but don't really understand what it is. It's a Peruvian supplement that's very, that's used quite often over there, and it's been used for, for years and years and years. And what it does, it just really helps restore kind of your, your inner balance and just gives you great energy. This in like smoothies, on your morning cereals, will really help you start your day properly. Lastly, to round up this cart, I know you've probably seen a theme here. We're looking at mostly breakfast items, things you can use during the breakfast and the start of the day. And I just think because if you put the good habits at the start of the day, then maybe you'll keep being healthy throughout the day. So that's the theme that we're working with here. Green tea, if you're not a coffee drinker or if you're a person that drinks coffee only once or twice a day because it might get you jittery or something, green tea actually helps a lot. It has natural caffeine in there. Um, it's amazing for weight loss. I remember at one point when I was at my fittest, I would used to drink maybe two to three liters of green tea a day. It would keep me energized and it just has lots of antioxidants and it's just really great. And it's such a complete ingredient. At the end of the day, it's all about eating smart, properly proportioned food, unprocessed and fresh. But all this doesn't matter unless you stick to it. So make sure you do that. This is Erwin Yusuf again for Erwin's Cart for Landers. Maybe this helps you, maybe it doesn't. If it doesn't, let us know what else you want to see and we'll make sure to shoot it. See you guys soon.